tones are brown, deep and somber. The images are haunting reminiscences of the frescoes in ancient cathedrals. The vacant eyes and the frail, gaunt looks in these paintings now fetch hundreds of thousands of rupees in auctions around the country. The special visual style has also given Anjali Ila Menon an exalted place in the contemporary Indian art scene. Anjali began painting as a child while still in school, but drifted into a full-time vocation at the age of 18, prompted by M.F. Hussain. Hussain was the one who saw this whole body of work. There must, might have been about 50 paintings, and I was just 18 at the time. And he said, come on, have an exhibition, and I never thought of it before. The impressionistic figurative paintings in the beginning looked like they were borrowed from Amrita Shergill but it was the influence of the fresco painters when she studied art in Paris that left an everlasting impression on her and in many ways shaped her genre. The choice I made at the, at the time was a very strange one. I went backwards into time and uh, was very influenced by early Christian painting and that this influence lasted through maybe the next, uh, I'd say almost 10 years. Uh, very iconesque, uh, still stark uh, paintings with uh, generally a strong central figure, but very still. The presence of Gothic phrases and solemn colors, a melancholic sentimental appearance with elongated faces became her signature. This introspective mood was engendered by Byzantine art in Russia, where her husband was briefly posted. She admits that though these influences have stirred her, the unique rich palette on her hardboard surfaces has remained steady and original. Endurance as well, but one that allows her to work on numerous paintings simultaneously. The technique that I've evolved through the uh, years means that each layer of paint has to dry in between. So I quite often have paintings going simultaneously, two or three paintings going simultaneously. Anjali's growth as an artist and her acceptance by critics and fans has not come about suddenly. His fascination with frames was a motive which dominated her work for a brief while. 